Hi, I'm Councilman Philip Baker, representing the 6th District of Louisville. Here we are at Logan Street Market, which I believe is one of the best kept secrets in District 6, one of the most diverse districts in Louisville. Thank you for joining us today. Here with founder Madora Safai, here to talk about all the great things that are going on with Logan Street Market. So what inspired you to start and have the vision of Logan Street Market and how has it evolved since? We um, started thinking about having a public market in Louisville a long time ago. So my husband and I have always enjoyed uh, public markets in Seattle, Pikes Market, Finley Market, and have always bemoaned that, that, that we wouldn't, didn't have one in Louisville. So we have always wanted to have a fresh food space to uh, come in, taste local flavors, and get to really have a feel for the local culture. This building actually originally started as Axton Candy and Tobacco. We were actually here uh, roasting and manufacturing coffee for hotel rooms, and we quickly realized we didn't need all of that space. So we had thought about renting it out and and thought, man, it's going to be, be a lot of fun if we could have tacos for lunch every day. <laughs> we went to Finley Market and we said, you know, this is about the same space as, as the space we have there. And by the time we came home, we had a business plan for having a, a, a space that would be a low risk entry for small businesses. Our coffee business started 25 years ago out of a little drive through. Uh, you could literally reach across and touch both walls. And, you know, it was a great low overhead for us to really get a feel for what people were going to want. Um, you know, figuring out our cost of goods, our supply chain. Um, and we thought this would be a great space for, some, for people to be able to do that here. So how do you choose your vendors and artisans to be a part of this community that you've built? They choose us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, we have different um, entry points as part of the Small Business Incubator programming. Part of that is me coming in and just being a pop-up. So you can come in and say, ah, oh, I have the, the best cornbread. Um, you come in, you like, see what the price point is, see what people are willing to buy, what flavors do they want, and then they can take that, that uh, daily rate or that um, opportunity um, and those conversations with the community to say, you know, I really want to take this on the next step. Um, and then they move into a permanent booth. So just kind of depending on where they're at in their business cycle as well. We've also had businesses that have downsized. So whenever we first started, we never really imagined that we would be that for the community. Um, but of course, during the pandemic and now during an economic downturn, um, people are looking for a way to scale back their operations, take a deep breath, not lose their customer base, not lose their you know momentum for their marketing, and find a way to but just take a deep breath and just realize what do they want to do next. Um, so we were able to do that for Vigrids. Chef Christina, is, she's fantastic. She's been able to have a manageable staff that she doesn't have to have so many moving parts. She never has to clean a toilet, doesn't have to worry about the roof leaking. So all of those things, right? So we take a lot of those um, headaches off of the shoulders of the small businesses so they can focus on their cost of goods, training a good staff, coming up with system, systems, finding uh, the right suppliers for themselves, and marketing their, their businesses. I love that. Uh, we know that um, the better b small business are, the better overall the economy is. What role do you think Logan Street Market plays in our local economy here in Louisville? We have had 14 businesses so far okay. that have graduated out of the market. Um, they came in, they thrived, and they wanted to have a bigger presence. So they've got their own brick and mortars. It's never easy to own a small business, yeah. but um, just kind of helping them be able to focus in on those moving parts so that whenever they do expand out of the market, um, they can be successful. It's just as important that people expand and move out and really take that next step. We've got quite a few vendors who have decided to stay and that this is their home um, and they love this business model. Uh, and then we have some people who came in and they decided, man, I started a small business so I wouldn't have to work as hard. <laughs> so now they've been able to go back to those jobs, go back to out uh, and, and do and be happy. I feel like that's even more important than expanding out of the market. The market is always different. So we've always got new people coming in and out. We've always got new offerings. Uh, there's always a new excitement happening in the market. How do you continue to keep this space engaging and exciting for visitors 
We're constantly um, coming up with new ideas. This space that we're in right now wasn't part of the original market. This is where we were roasting coffee and shipping it out. And we made this space um, someplace where people felt safe during the pandemic. After the pandemic, we put a pickleball court in because <laughs> we thought that would be fun, an indoor pickleball court. Yeah, she does and now it's going to be changing even yet again to uh, 60 arcade games coming in. We're working with Ants at Zanzibar to bring in that entertainment, that play feature, and um, just having that available for folks. So. We're always changing. I think, you know, when you're a business, you have to do that. If you don't, if you don't change, you don't, you know, you're, you're not going to survive. We are able to be a space for local growers to come and show off their goods, uh, local producers, uh, bakers that come in on our, for our pop-up markets on the weekends. We've just reopened a bodega. So we've done that. We've partnered with another company. That was one of the very core of our mission statement. Yes, a small business, fresh access and the arts and culture is another, uh, you know, Thing that, that we really focus on being a lively space for people to come and gather in. I'm excited to see that vision be seen through and thank you. Thank you for this service that you're providing for our community and I appreciate the hospitality for having us today and sitting down the interview and again if you're watching at home and you're on the fence about starting a business I believe that you are a person in this community that they need to reach out to and I appreciate everything you're doing for the community so thank you. Thank you.